is up? I know it's been a long time since I made a video. Um, really haven't had much going on. So today I decided to make this video because I bought me a new bike. Traded in my uh, 08 Dyna for a 2023 Fat Boy. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. So this is the first video I'm making of me riding this thing. I've had it for a couple weeks at this point. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to take advantage of the last few summer days that we have left. I'm gonna ride this thing until uh, until it drops below 50 degrees. I'm enjoying it too much. It's an awesome ride. 23 Fat Boy. So just a little story on it. I hope it's uh I haven't wore this helmet in a while too and it's, it feels windy. Or it sounds like it's it's real windy. Hopefully it doesn't come through so much on the video. If it does, I apologize. I'm gonna try not to talk too much either because Listen to that. Listen to that. So yeah, I had no intentions, a little story on this whole thing. I had no intentions on buying a new motorcycle, uh, let alone a fat boy. Anybody who knows anything about 2023 Harley fat boys, uh, they're not cheap. I got lucky. I really went to schedule an oil, myself an oil change for the Dyna, a uh, three hole oil change. And I decided to just walk through the sales uh, room floor while I was there. And I saw this with a sticker price of 18 and some change. And decided, well, you know, I've never ridden a Fat Boy. I would love to see what it feels like. I'd love to experience it before the end of summer. So I set up. Uh, to take it out for a test ride. Completely different feel. This one has what I consider uh, mid controls. I really do like my forward controls. I like them. So I'm thinking that's probably one of the things I'm gonna do next next year. If I could do it myself, I'll do it. I'm gonna see how easy or hard it is. If not, you know, I'll just have the dealer do it. No big deal. But I do want to have forward controls on here. But the mids ain't too bad. You know, they're not they're not too bad. I'm getting used to them. It's a very, very comfortable riding position that I am that I'm in, and um, yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see, man. But there's really not much I can say about this bike other than wow, wow. Uh, very impressed the first time riding it. Yeah, it was a different feel because the, the, the tires on my uh, Dyna were not even half the size that are the tires on this one. Um, and obviously the Dyna was a more, I guess, considered more sportier type bike. This one is all cruiser. All cruiser. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go through this slide. I'm not trying to stop. 
and um, so yeah it's uh, it's a totally different feel uh, this is a feeling that I am already used to and I can't I can't see myself going going back to another sportier type Harley um, for me this is it this is where it's at uh, and uh, yeah so far so good I love it I love the classic uh, speedo that's on here you know at first I was I was wanting I was leaning towards a uh, towards the breakout and that was kind of what I was gonna hold out for you know that's why I wasn't really shopping this year because I know that they were very hard to find they still are you know you go to different dealerships Harleys and they'll tell you you know we get one in and we got like three sales guys with like two guys each waiting for a breakout to come in so as soon as they get them in they're gone so that's what I was thinking okay well let me just wait till uh, summer of 24 maybe I'll get lucky and find a used one um, but man I'll tell you this was my second choice for me it was either a breakout or a fat boy and uh, man the dealership just made me an offer that I could not refuse so here we are a couple weeks later uh, I've been I've been enjoying it I've been having a really really good time on here The other story that goes with this thing is I guess a uh, guy bought it, took it home, ride it, rode it for a little bit, and I guess he realized that he wanted a bagger instead. So he traded this one back in, they hooked him up with the bagger. He, I was fortunate enough that he uh, actually swapped out the exhaust. He put a uh, Chrome Works exhaust on here. And also the quick, quick connect, disconnect sissy bar, which is fantastic. Um, so that noise you hear, those are the uh, those are the chrome work exhausts, man. They sound perfect. One thing that I kind of was disappointed uh, uh, about the breakout was the little, uh, the new little digital display that it has on the handlebars. Because I do like, man, I do, I do like this, this old school analog. Um, let's listen to that. Yeah, get that downshift action. Get that downshift action. Uh, yeah, I really like the old analog, you know, this classic analog look, man. Uh, you can't beat it, actually. And uh, the more I looked at the breakout one, the more I was kind of like, yeah, I don't know about that. But, yeah, this one, uh, classic analog. Obviously, things are digital on here. You know, you hit this button here, change RPM, miles, uh, trip A, trip B. I mean, it's fantastic. Back to the clock. So, uh, fuel is also digital. Um, so that's about it. That's cool for me. me a new full face helmet I don't know this one uh, I've had it for a while and I'm not, I, don't, I don't remember the wind the sounding like it like it like it does when I first bought it so I think it's time for a new one but anyways cruising uh, northbound on LaGrange Road 
man, let's just enjoy this ride, yeah? do that. Sorry. So, yeah, this bike is great, man. I'm really, really enjoying it. I can't say that anymore. Uh, torque is great in every gear. You know, you twist this throttle and you're gone. You gotta love that, man. As I've said before, this is what it's all about. Right here. It just sucks that I don't get to enjoy it any more than uh, maybe a few more weeks if I'm lucky. The weather's gonna start to break here. here on 87. Now, see these turns? Because of the fat tires, uh, 240, 18 in the back, 160, 18 in the front. They're wide tires. Uh, you just gotta take the turns a little bit slower, that's all. You know, I've heard stories where people can't lean it. People say you can't lean it. You can. It's just, you know, you're not gonna do it like if you were on a sportier bike. And, um, and that's okay. You know, this is a cruiser. It's a cruiser. Uh, so the fact that, you know, I'm, I might not be able to lean it over as much but I mean I, I just slow more I just slow down a little bit more during the turns and uh, I mean if I want to get it leaned over I could lean it over I think the uh, lean angle is like 29.5 or something like that if I'm not mistaken I believe it's 1868 cc's man 114 cubic engine this is a fantastic bike. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. They made me a deal, like I said, they made me a deal I couldn't refuse. And I, I, I'm happy. I'm happy I made, I'm happy I made that decision. I'm happy I went, I went for it. You know, I do have to say, say a shout out to Nancy. She did encourage me also to go for it. That's what I love about her. She always has my back, no matter what. I, I, I can always rely on her having my back. And uh, she knows how much I, I love riding motorcycles. She knows how much I've wanted uh, a motorcycle with a fat tire on the back. She knows that. Um, and yeah, I, I, I told her about what they were doing with me at the dealership. 
and she was like yeah that's it it's a great offer so just do it go for it trade in your bike they gave me a lot of money for my trade and um yeah you know rest is history i also want to say a shout out to uh the guys that the two guys that helped me out at harley countryside this is where i got it from harley countryside uh, my sales guy JD man that dude is badass JD if you ever watch this video you're a badass bro I respect you and uh, I, I thank you man for for treating me uh, with with, with uh, respect and class um, man if you're out there if you're watching this video anybody and you live near countryside Harley Davidson or maybe if you don't you want to be treated right respectfully and you come to this you come to countryside ask for JD to hook you up also another shout out to Jeremy finance guy man this guy worked numbers like I'd never seen before um, they knew how much I wanted to get on in in you know walk out with this bike ride out on this bike i should say and they did everything in in their power jeremy did everything in his power to make that happen i didn't think it was going to happen i didn't i didn't i didn't and uh man he just kept working he just kept working for me and it, he made it happen He made it happen. So thank you, Jeremy, man. If you guys are watching this, JD, Jeremy, shout out to both you guys. I haven't forgotten uh, what I what I promised you guys, what I was going to do. I haven't forgotten about you. So be a little more patient with me. And uh, so, yeah. But... This bike is not hard to flick around, man. It picks up. Fantastic power. The brakes are great. I believe this this has 100 horsepower. Um, <laughs> man, I, I know there's dudes out there that love probably even more horsepower than that they love to go fast I think top speed on this one is one maybe 15 120 I'll never ever see that um, I don't want to ever see that so th this is plenty fast enough for me I don't need to put any uh, kits on there to make it go faster this motorcycle is fast enough and um, yeah for me doing 65 70 uh, yeah I'm good with that on the highway I'm good with that so anyway right now I'm just heading home it's a beautiful day out today uh, I could have stopped somewhere to uh, be easy what are you doing stop somewhere and uh, got y'all a, a little bit of a closer look but I do have that other video that's posted right now of a little tiny walk around that I did uh, <laughs> I made that video like I said that was the one where I was just on the test ride and I was not even thinking uh, about buying it but it's mine now when I said in that video it was time for me to take her back home well, I'm literally taking her home now, and uh, she gets to sit in my garage for uh, the next years to come. So yeah, there's going to be, uh, I'm going to try to make a couple more videos before the end of summer 
as of this point, I'm getting married in a little less than uh, five days. So that's going to be exciting. We're looking forward to that. And uh, hopefully we get a few more nice days. Like I said, I'm just going to bundle up, man. I just I can't stay off this bike. Um, I'm going to bundle up until it's too cold for me to ride. And then, of course, it's time to start. But until then, we're going to enjoy her. Until next spring. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you've gotten this far, look out for the next one. It will be coming sooner rather than later. Let me get that lean. Let me get that lean. I've leaned it. I've leaned it one time, and I and I did scrape the floorboards. Uh, first time I've ever felt that on here, so it, it made me a little hesitant. But uh, yeah, I mean you gotta lean it, man. You gotta, you gotta lean it. When it hits the floorboards, that's the warning that you're that you're you know that you're right there. So that's what they're designed for, and. Uh, yeah, you just got to be prepared for that, you know. Now that I know what it feels like, uh, you know, I'm not so uh, shocked about it if if it happens and when it happens again. But time to let y'all go. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for coming on this little ride with me. Uh, I do have some plans. I, I, I mean... Some of you people, some of you uh, people might look look down on on, on those uh, LED lights on Harley's. I'm, I'm not one of them. I love those LED lights. Uh, it just for me, it's a safety thing, and I like to be seen at night. And whatever makes that uh, possible, I'm, I'm I'm doing. And the neon lights, uh, they look great. They look they look great against the chrome. There's plenty of chrome on this thing. And yeah. But yeah, man. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.